Hey everyone, my name is Adisha and welcome to Learn with Adisha. Today we're learning about Unicode leaf anatomy. Basically, how do a leaf how does a leaf work? On the top we have a cuticle, a waxy layer, basically to protect any water loss from happening and to protect the plant from any pathogens. The upper, the upper epidermis serves as a second cuticle and makes the leaf kind of rigid so it doesn't droop down as easily as it should or as easily as it looks like it should. Oops, having some trouble zooming. <laughs> Anyways, up there is the palisade parenchyma. Basically, it's the very layer that contains all the chloroplasts. Most of them, at the least. Chloroplasts are basically sections of a plant cell that take in sunlight and convert it into energy. Basically, doing photosynthesis. Oh yeah, and there's a second name for this, the palisade mesophyll. There's another cuticle on the bottom, but this time it's a bit different. Kind of, kind of different. And here's the lower epidermis, the lower part of the epidermis. There's another set of cells down here called guard cells, which guard the entrance to the to the leaf, the only entrance to the leaf, the stomata. These holes are called stomata. You'll see. So you can see holes. Uh, you can see holes right here, right? Small little tiny holes. Well, those are the very holes which the guard cells have to protect. This spongy parenchyma also has a second name, spongy mesophyll or spongy mesophyll. Depends how you say it. But this is called the spongy parenchyma or spongy mesophyll. I'm going to call it mesophyll, okay? You can call it parenchyma if you want. I don't care, really. The only reason it's called spongy mesophyll is because of the fact that it's spongy it's got tons of holes in it you can see right there holes everywhere and there's still some chloroplasts here all plant cells have chloroplasts if it has a nucleus it has a chloroplast in terms of plants and three more terms left this over here is a vein Bran a branching structure that goes through the plant delivering sugars and even water throughout the plant. This xylem does all the water delivery and the phloem, it's called phloem, not folium, phloem, okay, phloem. The phloem does all the sugar delivery. That's all for me. I hope you can research some more yourselves because I really want you to do that. Thanks for watching this introductory video to, to leaf anatomy and see you in the next one.